Hey folks, today we're going to show you how to bypass a Talaria battery. One of the most popular kits for the Talaria is the GLE BAC 8000. It basically really wakes up the bike. The Talaria is underpowered like the Saran. And we're going to show you how to get more out of your battery by doing a battery bypass. This will allow you to run the battery at 8000 watts max. You don't want to do more than that. But it's really nice and buttery and powerful. Uh, this battery is much bigger than a Saran battery. So um, definitely awesome uh, feature to be able to just bypass this battery and wake up the bike with the ASI BSI, BAC 8000 that we provide on our website. So what are the tools that you're going to need? You're going to need a T10. This is a T10. Let's see you and there's about 10 screws on this battery. We're gonna slowly remove all of these screws and then we're going to gently lift up this battery cover because there is a clip that attaches to this screen. We need to carefully remove that. Uh, so don't lift this completely out uh, quickly. We're just gonna remove it and we're gonna slowly lift it and uh, undo the clip. And then we'll show you the insides and what we're gonna bypass. Quick note, um, when you bypass your battery, whether it's bypassed or not, it's always a good idea to keep your battery charged. Do not let your battery become discharged. Uh, leaving a battery discharged is bad for the cells. Either leave it fully charged or halfway charged and charge it once every month. It's also not a good idea to drain your battery to zero. I usually go for a ride and when it gets down to like 5%, 10%, I immediately plug it in and bring it back to full charge. And there's another one here. You push down on the little tab and then pull it down, push down on the tab and pull out. I'm gonna unplug these as well to make some room here. So I'm gonna push down on this little tab and pull out. You can see. There we go. Okay, so. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these wires right here. This wire and this wire. We're going to leave one connected. We're just going to cut this wire and this wire. And we're going to put our GLE bypass kit. And we're going to extend these wires from here that we cut. This right here. And we're going to go and screw them onto here. The BMS bypass kit. It will be available for sale on our website just two wires and then we can now uh, use these to bridge the connection from the load directly to the battery that's one and then we're going to cut the other one perfect and we're going to And so we've cut them, and now we're going to strip these and attach the extensions. I'm using the IWS, IWS 16 crimper. I got this on Amazon. Attach the wire.
second one. So I want to point out that bypassing the uh, BMS does not affect charging. Your battery will still balance. We're just affecting the load where the power comes out of. And so um, it does not affect the way the charger works or how the battery gets balanced. Okay, I've screwed one of the wires onto here, and along with the negative here, so they're on top of each other, as you can see. And now I'm going to do um, one more on this end, and I'm going to screw this back into the middle. See, um, as you can see, that's just what it looks like. These right here. Just want to make sure that everything goes in and you're not smashing anything. And of course, you know, the battery's on. It's good. And then we'll insert the screws and tighten it back up. All right, folks, all of the 10 screws are in and uh, battery's good to go. Again, uh, ideally, do not pull more than 8,000 watts from this battery. And always make sure that uh, whenever you're done using it, uh, keep it charged. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, let us know.